Hi, welcome to Smarter Campaigns Candidate Training video blog. I'm Ben Eisenberg, President of Smarter Campaigns, and this is my buddy Theo. When writing their official biographies, it happens with disturbing regularity that candidates mention their pets by name, but neglect to mention their children. The first few times I saw this, I was shocked. Now it's something I specifically look for when helping candidates write their bios. An animal lover, Blank rescued and adopted two kittens, Christina and Tina Marie. Oh yeah, he also has two children. A father of two boys, Blank rescued his best friend Flynn, a Rhodesian Ridgeback from a nearby shelter. She loves her best buddy Fluffy, with no mention of three school-aged children. Candidates usually go through the same thought process. I don't want to expose my kids to the nastiness of campaigns, followed by people like animals, so they'll like me if I show I like animals. These are both perfectly acceptable rationalizations. People do like animals, sometimes even more than children, and your children might be brought into the campaign. Most people have no issue with mentioning their children by name, unless, you're grown, unless your children are grown and out of the house. Mentioning them by name and an interest or hobby of theirs usually makes you look like a friendlier, more well-rounded person, one who cares about children, both their own and others. If you're concerned that your children might get unwanted attention from the press or at school, it's perfectly acceptable to not mention their names. However, you have to acknowledge their existence. It looks bad if you have children but don't mention them and opens the door for reporters to ask you why you didn't include your children in the biography. People love animals. I once had a state senate candidate who held a Jack Russell Terrier during a televised press conference. Knocking on doors later that day, a voter said, Oh, I saw her on TV with the puppy. We're dog lovers ourselves. She's got our vote. The voter had no idea what the press conference had been about. As you can see, it's not always the easiest thing dealing with pets. A lot of times you're going to want your dog or your cat in the official campaign photos or in the advertisement with your children. This is great if they're well trained, but even the best trained dogs like my buddy Theo have some trouble sitting still for a little while. You know, rescuing animals from shelters, having pets in certain campaign photographs, or mentioning them in your bio shows that you like animals and you'll gain some support. If, however, you choose to not mention your children by name as a means to protect them from the rigors of a campaign, you must not mention your pets by name. Try something like this. When she's not saving lives, she loves spending time with her two daughters, aged 12 and 7, and her Labradoodle. No names involved just to reiterate and help you avoid some embarrassment. It's fine to mention both your kids and pets by name. It's fine to mention your kids by name, but not your pets. It's fine to mention both your kids and your pets with no names, but it is never, ever okay to mention your pets by name, but not your children. Hopefully this will help save you some embarrassment. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel Follow us on Twitter at Campaign Smarter and like us on Facebook. Have a great day.